Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors, here with Lucky the Dog. I just went to the refrigerator to get a soda, and he thinks maybe there's food involved. Um, I want to talk about the difference between silver solder and silver braze alloy, or silver soldering and silver brazing. The uh, reason this came up, I got another call. They come in fairly frequently. This is a big honking piece of carbide. It's a stump grinder tip. Um, we sell a few of these, we make a little money, a uh, hundred stump grinder tips is a lot of stump grinder tips, so we're never going to get rich at it, but we make a lot of people happy. We've got much better quality and much better prices. And a, a young guy called a couple days ago, he'd been reading about our stump grinder tips online, wanted to try them, we sold him some, and they didn't work, they came off. And we got talking to him, and what had happened, he bought our pre tin tips, went to the welding supply store and got some silver solder flux. The key word here is is solder, silver solder flux. Uh, the guy didn't know the difference between soldering and brazing and the clerk in the welding supply store uh, apparently wasn't as clear on the difference as he could have been. So the guy's trying to use a solder flux for a brazing application. Typically, silver soldering has, I don't know, 1, 3 percent um, silver in the solder. Brazing is more around 50 percent, maybe down to 30 percent, although that's not common, or not all that common. Um, the di big difference is the temperatures. Officially, it's about 800 degrees. You see other figures. Uh, practically, soldering is a couple hundred degrees Fahrenheit and brazing is up around 1100 degrees Fahrenheit so there's a huge difference in temperature. The solder flux is designed which one? Uh, the solder flux anyway is designed to be low temp and to start being active right away but it gets used up at very low temperatures. Um, if you try and use it as a brazing flux it's going to be all used up and burned out before you even get hot enough. Brazing flux, on the other hand, gets active around maybe 500, 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, when you use it, it's water-based typically. You'll see the water boil out at the boiling point of water, 200 to 250 degrees, depending on how you're heating and whatnot. Um, and then after that, you have to heat it a while, and then you'll see the flux melt out. Um, and that's when it starts getting active. So if you try and use brazing flux for soldering, you're going to burn up all your solder parts before the flux even gets active. So you have to use solder flux for soldering and brazing flux for brazing. And a big part of the confusion is that the two the term silver silver bra or silver soldering is often used to mean silver brazing and I've done that. I think everybody in the industry have done that. It's just common. Uh, I do think the industry would be at a better place if we were all a little more careful about our use of terms. I'm planning on being it. And the young guy who called was a real nice guy. Um, wasn't looking for any replacement, just wanted a solution for his problem. Um, had a nice chat with him. Uh, he would bought 50 bucks worth of parts, which was a lot of money for him. And God, do I remember when 50 bucks was a lot of money. Uh, but anyway, I hate to see it happen to him. We replaced the parts. We sent him some of the right flux. So we got him taken care of. But a lot of people out there who would benefit, I think, if everybody was a little more precise in their language. That's it. Thank you. Bye.